Hey everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. I was not sure how I wanted to film this video. I thought today's video was going to go over a lot different than it did. Um, I definitely had a few setbacks today and that is why this is going to be more of a one take vlog on um, my mental health. So I had quite a few setbacks today. Um, I thought it would be a good day. I was going to therapy, which I've been going to for about a month now. And then I was going to drop my old roommate off at the airport so she can go home for the holidays. And then I have plans to finish my take home exam and finally be done with school. And um, maybe bake some cookies, but that's just, just not how today went. I went to therapy and therapy is usually good. However, um, I will admit that maybe I should open up more than I do, but every time I leave therapy, I feel so empowered. And recently, um, every time I leave therapy, I do feel empowered, but it's just quicker and quicker. I just begin to feel like shit. Um, and today was no different. So there's just a lot of like drama that's going on in my life and I don't really know what I should open up about and share and what I should just keep to myself. But it all goes along the baseline of how I feel underappreciated and everything I do. That goes for work, that goes for school, that goes for family and friends. And it's definitely branches back a long time into my childhood and yada yada yada. It's something I have to work on and deal with. But recently, since I would say September, I have really struggled with um, stress and stress management. I definitely always have been stressed. Last year was a very stressful year for me as well. But this year it was a different kind of stress. And I didn't know how to handle it and it really took a negative toll on my life where I have never been as sad and depressed and unmotivated and just unhappy. Um, and I didn't want to feel like that so I put myself into therapy and therapy started to work but therapy can only do so much. And then today... I, this is also me, like, again, holding back from what I'm really trying to say, and I don't want to do this. And then today, I just was talking to someone, and I like brutally honest people, but what they said, maybe I needed to hear, and if I cry, I apologize. I am not a cute crier. <laughs> um, and maybe it's something I needed to hear, and maybe it's the truth, but I don't want it I don't want it to be my truth. It just kind of made me it mad and it made me not be excited to move on with my life. I have always struggled. You can go back on old videos of mine, especially on my main channel, like my whole Let's Talk series, especially the, um, that's a throwback, that was almost four years ago. Especially the one about my high school experience. I've always struggled with knowing what I wanted to do with my life. And I really pride myself on trying to figure it out. Because I know that I'm in my young 20s. But like mentally I am 30. I'm 40. Like I'm not in my early 20s. I need to have it figured out. I am someone that has to have a plan. And for the first time in my life I... Well, I guess this happens a lot, but I actually don't have a plan. I have no sweet clue. Um, I'm about to not work, which is my personal choice. I'll have like a little 10 hour a week coordinator position, which is still awesome. Don't get me wrong. Fingers crossed I have it. Um, I guess I should, shouldn't should jinx myself, but I hope I do. And um, I'm not working. And that's definitely different for me because I'm someone where who prides themselves in their job. 
And as much as I needed a break, I I really don't know how I'm gonna handle all the free time and not working. And I, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm talking in circles. I I never used to be this cry or upset. I have very thick skin. I have very tough skin. And then this year especially, all I do is cry. <laughs> Which is not like me at all. I don't cry. I don't really know why I do either. And there's nothing wrong with crying. It's just something that I don't do. Like, I kid you not. Like, I probably used to cry once or twice a year. And I cry all the time now. Um, and it's something like I don't know how to handle. I'm just not a cryy person. And, uh moving on with something I can't handle. I definitely don't know how to handle my emotions because, and this makes no sense right now so I apologize, but maybe it makes sense to someone can help someone else. But every emotion I feel, I'm feeling it wrong and it's so fucking hard because I don't know how I'm supposed to feel for anything and I feel like I'm just not like in tune with my emotions like other people, especially because no matter how I feel, I'm not allowed to feel that way and it really fucks with your mind. Um, anyway, so I was just trying to figure out more of, like, what, I, what I'm supposed to do with my life, and I think the talk was supposed to be uplifting, but it was very discouraging, and it kind of just made me realize, like, I'm hopeless. So, yeah, <laughs> that happened today, and then just something else, just boy drama happened with this guy from... I thought was irrelevant. It's not irrelevant and I need it to be irrelevant I think for my own <laughs> mental sake. That one was, isn't as bad as me just realizing I have no fucking idea what I'm doing with my life. No one appreciates me. I feel like my I have no worth in life and I've never had no self-worth so it's a lot to deal with <laughs> and um, I'm trying to figure it out so <laughs> Oh god, this is probably going to be the most horrendous video I've ever posted, but maybe someone else feels this way and I'm helping them out so they know that they're not alone because I, I have no idea what I'm doing and I don't really have anywhere to turn. <laughs> like I've built this whole life on my own and I've rebuilt. I've moved like five times in the past four years. I've had so many different jobs. I've met so many different people. And I thought I was living my picture perfect life. And now it's crumbling around and I don't really have anything. And like, I mean my whole, everyone tells me material possessions don't matter. And like, I really see that now, but I'm just exhausted. I'm always starting over. It's just, really hard and I'll I'm gonna move again I also hate change I always have and now I have to move again and it's just it gets exhausting like not knowing where your home is and not knowing where you belong and we just got really deep here but I don't know and I know a lot of people feel this way but I really I feel like I don't have a home like, I don't feel at home here anymore. I don't feel at home where I grew up. I just don't really have a home. And so it's just like, next semester I can 